Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher, and where are you going to be October 10th through 18th? If you're sitting in your living room bored to death, it's your fault because there are 52 or more activities taking place that weekend, and these three people are going to be at every single one of them. <laughs> right? That's right. Okay, starting with Sheila and Ash, you got the easy one. You're starting off the Visual Arts That's right. Week We're in Ocean View. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many Kick artists are you going to have up there? We're looking at somewhere between 90 and 100. Um, and that doesn't even begin to count the, the large student contingency that we have, that we do every year. So, so that's 100 large group. plus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, what kind of visual arts? Um, everything from painting, sculpture, ceramics, photography, jewelry, you name it, it'll be there. It's wow. It's a wonderful show. Now, at the far end of the week, a mere seven days away, mm -hmm. or five days, maybe? Five days. Is Stockley Arts Show. Yes. How many artists? 132. Holy moly. So One's if somebody doesn't Israel. have a picture, hang, a new picture hanging in their living room, by the end of the week, there's something wrong. There is no. something wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you want to go see the impact of public art mm -hmm. around the same time as Stockley, mm -hmm. toward the end of the week, right, Rachel McCall, mm -hmm. you can go to the Neon Festival. That's right. <laughs> now, does that mean it's going to be all lit up? It means that there's a lot of energy happening in Norfolk. That's what it stands for. New, new, ener energy. new energy of Norfolk. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be all lit up. It will be. And there will be tons of public art, at least five new murals. There's going to be tons to see. We really want people walking around, getting out in the district, walking, biking, dancing, whatever you want. Live music, beer gardens, the Chrysler. There's a ton of activity. Okay, I'm going to warn the viewer because somewhere between the next 10 minutes, every single one of these groups <laughs> is going to be. Look at that. That's okay? Amazing. Mm -hmm. So I've pulled the three of you guys out, mm -hmm. but you're here as Goodwill Ambassadors to really talk about what's going on in Norfolk. Elena, you remember the day yes. when we had this events committee, and one of the first things they yeah. said was, When's your event, and what else is going on that weekend? Maybe you ought to move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened to that day? Well, that day is long gone because everything's here to stay and mm -hmm. we're building it around everything. It just, it makes total sense. You've got great um, festivals and art happenings in Norfolk and all these other um, activities that are popping up mm -hmm. throughout the week just like uh, Rachel was saying, is bringing energy mm -hmm. into the area. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is so cool. It is cool. I remember about a year and a half ago, I think, it was well, maybe two years ago, uh, being at work session at council, and work really does begin there, and the mayor sat back and said, we just had something happen. There was, we started at the Chesapeake Bay mm -hmm. at the beginning of the week, and we ended close to the Elizabeth River with Stockley. Why don't we tie it all together mm -hmm. And like magic, it happened, mm -hmm. right? What? Mm -hmm. How did that happen? I mean, how did you? How did it get pulled together? Well, I, I mean, I, I'm just guessing here, but I think, you know, he saw, he, ha he had a vision, mm -hmm. um, because you have, I mean, you know, Stockley and the Ocean View show. I mean, they're, they're just a week apart, mm -hmm. and they're drawing a great crowd into the city. So it just made sense to pull in all the other organizations that are making things happen and uh, making it uh, an event in itself for the week mm -hmm. for people even outside of the Hampton Roads area to say, oh, wow, I'm going to make this a vacation or I'm going to mm -hmm. make this a family journey, if you will. Mm -hmm. I remember when the mayor actually visited the Ocean View Art Show um, a few years back and we were very excited that he he was there and brought some uh, other city councilmen with him. And one of the things that we presented to him was, Mayor Frame, look around, look at these artists. We have got young people that are coming into this, this mm -hmm. area and, and we need to do something. We need to combine. There's so much happening that we could really put this together. Would you consider? would you ever consider having a Norfolk Arts Week? And it wasn't too long after that that they had all the, the mm -hmm. powers to be come together. And now, planned. did you have this in mind? Yeah, we asked him. Uh, and he Dave, listens, he, he does. He does, <laughs> he really does, and he was terrific about the whole thing. You know, you touch on something with the artist, and I know that both, a lot of your artists are local artists, and oh, a yeah. of them coming mm -hmm. together. And, Tidewater and area. What makes your show unique is you've got local and. From what, we've got an artist from Israel. 
Wow. wow. So we have them from all over the United States, mm. and now we can say out of the country. That's right, because after the show, I'm going to ask you about some particular ones, because I've got some raku oh, I've got to. Okay. They better be here. But anyway, <laughs> okay, I'm looking at the list, so let's talk about artists and kind of a changing mm -hmm. scene. The Art Center, and I know, mm -hmm. you know, through DNC, Downtown Norfolk Council, you're kind of working with them. We have. Um, they yep. blew up. I, they did, mm. they did. But yet, it's They're still cool around. Story. They they found some great locations temporarily. Um, a lot of our great downtown businesses have found temporary homes from them. Um, unique spaces, but it gives the artists a chance to keep working, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, they actually will have a show at the Kellen Galleries mm -hmm. during the Neon Festival, um, so they'll get another chance to show their um, work, great. which is it's really Super nice for correct. them to have a home, especially in the arts district. We want to support them. Down and there. I think it shows mm -hmm. the resilience of the artist community. It's yep. a matter of giving them a place and they'll thrive. Uh, you know, I, another one I see down here is the Christ Museum of mm -hmm. Art. Stable, mm -hmm. hard, you know, the, but I think if I had had uh, Bill Hennessy on the sofa 10 years ago, we would have never dreamt about where I they don't think there and they were closed an for 18 district. months. Yeah, mm -hmm. and now they're branching out outside of their walls. Mm -hmm. They're really making the arts district their home, which is yeah. mm -hmm. thrilling. Now I got to, you know, we haven't gotten through this one yet, but for next year there's going to be some, you know, hurrah will be open. Oh yeah, You've absolutely. You've got uh, glass wheel. Glass wheel, mm -hmm. yes, they're That'll opening so in November. Look, it's just the beginning. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, so what do we want to tell the viewer to do? What should they be doing the week of uh, um, October? 10th or 18th? Well, the 10th, they don't need to, to wait. They need to come early <laughs> and check out the Ocean View Community Beach Park. Now, what time is it open? It opens at 10. And it's a lovely show. We have entertainment all weekend, lots of food, great folks, tons of people. And the students are exceptional. We really pride ourselves in our students because mm -hmm. the Chesapeake Bay Art Association does do a, a big mm -hmm. scholarship mm -hmm. with these these young people and this is where the future of the arts is the way we see it so that's what we do it, our money goes into that scholarship, scholarship fund and, and you've it's, been, it's this important. show has been going on for how many years this is our 53rd year wow. in a row and we've been giving scholarships just about every year since in those 53 years and it's grown in the value, so we're very wow. proud of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Stockley has been going on for what, 93 30, years? 32 years. <laughs> <laughs> feels it feels 30, like 93. 32? <laughs> well, <laughs> 32. I mean, it's has been Jim there Newsom a long time. It, it used to be the Gen Arts Festival, so right. it's right. been going on for a long time. Hope House has been doing it for 32 years. Hey, it only took you. Seven minutes to mention Hope House. I know, mm -hmm. right? Not bad. And I'm just really... assuming everybody knows. <laughs> well, and, and that's one of the things. It's not just the visual arts, but as you say, the scholarships for youth. Mm -hmm. I mean, the idea of the arts mm -hmm. giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that you cannot have a community unless everyone is included. Mm -hmm. Okay, whether it be talented students or people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. um, Stockley uh, lives and breathes what our mission is, mm -hmm. and it's about community inclusion. And that's exactly what that festival shows. Um, the community loves it, the, the, the sponsors, everyone loves just seeing everybody being integrated into one great neighborhood. And we see that with the um, arts district. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. they did studies. Your city can't grow unless you have a vibrant arts mm -hmm. right. community. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. And everybody enjoys making art. They do. Okay, We've had but, so many people wanting to get involved. Mm -hmm. Countless people yeah. contacting us. Hey, I do this. Can I be involved? Mm -hmm. It's great. Exciting. Yeah. Now, but I got to correct one. I, I do have to correct her. Not everybody enjoys making art. I love looking at it, okay. appreciating well, it, true. and putting it in my living room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, I'm going to tell you this. Because you don't want to see the art that I can make. <laughs> I always say, I'm not creative, you know, blah, blah, blah. But then people say, well, you put on a great art show. And you do great things you in the community. A gift well, the, you're a great yeah. TV mm -hmm. host, so you're well, very creative. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's just making art. No, I'm, <laughs> that's I, I recall itself. a couple of years ago, I was at the Stockley Art Show <laughs> and casually, you know, walking my dog and v visiting with people, while my wife was looking at jewelry, and you had me paint a glass. Oh thing. yeah. <laughs> and paint it forward, yeah. What I love was she told me it was going for an auction. I think they threw it out. I no, think, we did oh, not I throw I think, it out. No, yeah, that's a big thing. Okay. 32, 63. You guys haven't been born yet. I know. This is our first year. Yeah. And we've taken on a lot. So, okay. So, does it look a little different? Because I know you've got committee meeting after committee meeting. Are you doing things in committee? Oh, yes. Lots of committees. Lots of committees. I mean, how do you create yes. and give birth? you got the two masters at events. How do you give birth to a new festival? 
just so much involvement and feedback. Um, all of our cultural partners have been amazing. The symphony, the opera, the art center. I mean, we, we have some great resources downtown. Luckily, a lot of them are very close to the arts district mm -hmm. and they're already interested. So it was pretty easy to pull them in. Great committee members, very dedicated. The Virginia Arts Festival has been great to work with. So that's where we started with the people. Oh, so you got, okay, because they're the Arts Festival, 20 years coming up. So right. you're bringing in some ringers. Yes, mm -hmm. they know what ask, they're doing. I was going to ask these two if they had advice for you. Do you have any advice well, for, I'll the, still take it. for the new people <laughs> on the town? Well, what uh, I loved about this whole birth of this festival was that they did include everybody. That's right. And asked what we could do to help enhance it. Like, for example, Stockley's at the end, so we're the anchor. Um, so what the neon festival will technically be over, but we're thinking, how can we partner? So right. we're making our shuttle signs in neon letters leading up to the Chrysler. Cool. Yeah. And we're wrapping the fencing around Stockley Garden in, in neon material. Right. So just to kind of show solidarity, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why we picked our days was to lead into your mm -hmm. festival. I mean, we want people to come and make a great weekend of it. Mm -hmm. Go to the Wine Fest one day, come to the Neon Festival, go to Ocean View. And I we're mean, gearing our, our people to come down right. your way. Right. We so want this we, to be. We've got to work it together. We want yeah. it to be a big draw mm -hmm. for everyone and families, everyone, all kinds mm -hmm. of people. Mm -hmm. Well, if anybody, the people that make you know Kelly Walsh, who comes on the show quite a bit, she's going to be in two places at once. <laughs> Because they have aqua fire going on at the Botanical Garden, right. and they're going to be—they're not burning things up, but they're not going to do aqua fire. I think they're going to be on Thursday night at the Neon. Is festival. that how they're going to work yes, that? Yes. And, and introduce kind of Asian lanterns and things like yes, that. Yes, exactly. So really, it's going to be a community-wide celebration. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And so from October 10th to 18th, you better not—that's the time not to watch Norfolk Perspectives. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch it on YouTube. Come down and and enjoy See all the everything. visual arts. Mm -hmm. And don't tell Deborah Burrell, but there's gonna be some performing arts too. There will be, at the Neon Festival there will be. There we go. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, I'm looking forward to buying some art. I need to talk to you. Okay. Okay, stained glass, looking for stained glass. <laughs> and honey, and let's, oh, oh yeah. See you later, thanks for joining <laughs> us.